how to install cruise armor fork and uh, fork leg and can protection. So you want to make sure everything's good and clean. You want to make sure the surrounding areas are clean and wet as well so the dust doesn't uh, move over and uh, get under your film. Then what you want to do is on the kit you want to uh, look at where they fit so you uh, get an idea where how all the pieces lay down before you peel them off and then you just want to get everything really wet your hands the film and uh, go ahead and peel a little bit back get it wet you don't want to peel the whole thing off because if it's dry and it sticks to itself you won't ever get it apart or if uh, when you peel it off it's, it has some static to it dust will attract to the adhesive and uh, will get stuck on the adhesive but as long as everything's wet the stuff's really forgiving. Dust uh, will just wash right off of it. So again, just want to make sure everything's good and wet. The forks are wet. And then you're just going to lay that right on the front of the fork leg there. And the thing we're going to look at first is down here at the bottom. Want to make sure that this isn't hanging over or too far up. So you're kind of looking right in this area, making sure it's side to side on this little leg down there. Everything's straight. And then you go ahead and just lightly squeegee out that little bottom leg. If you have your alcohol mix, you can use that down here to anchor the bottom. So that that won't move. And then you just slowly, I say from here, you work your way up. And then you just start working from center out towards this reflector light. And then you do the same thing inward. You start at center and work your way outward. And when that's good, uh, if if there's anywhere that's lifting up or you're getting fingers, just use the alcohol and that'll lock her down. And if you get a couple little fingers here, just leave them for now. We'll get back to those in a minute. Um, so up here, we're gonna go ahead and lift it and get a little more soapy water behind there so that it slides. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that this line on the outer edge is straight. And then you're just going to go ahead and run, run it up the edge. And then again, slowly, I'm just almost letting the weight of the squeegee push the water over there for now. If you push too hard, the whole thing will move. Now, if you're getting to where it just won't stay in place and it's sliding all over the place, then you have too much soap in your slip solution. You put too big a drops or too many drops. You can uh, dilute that back down by adding some water. To your mix because uh, again you want to be able to slide when you have your hands on it but once you've squeegeed it down it's not going to move right now okay so, so now at this point i'm pushing harder you can go ahead and i mean you can really you can't as long as the top is wet you really, you can't hurt the material i mean you can really lay into it i don't know if you can see how much the squeegee's been and at this point really squeegee to get all any bubbles any uh, fingers as we call them that's where the little things will lift up and typically here is about the main spot so I'm using alcohol right there and uh, just go ahead and squeegee that out and that's really it for the lower leg other than this little nub piece so on your sheet there's actually a little piece there so again with the wet hands wet piece. For this, I will a lot of times just use the alcohol because it's such a small piece. What we're going to do is just put it on there and kind of stretch it so that it goes around, which will take care of some of these fingers and then just squeegee it down. Again, if you have any little fingers, you can let those sit for a minute, let them uh, dry up and they'll get uh, tacky. Now the cans, you have two uh, cans on this sheet, 
They're the same. Make sure they're wet. Now with these, I'll look at this line on the side and line it up with that side. And again, just light, light, light strokes. And I'm gonna put a little alcohol on this corner, just the, out on the corner there. Cause it's still sliding around a little. That way, that thing is anchored down here on the corner. Now I can go ahead and run it up. Over the top. Then start working your way across. And I'm not pushing overly hard, but you wanna make sure and use overlapping strokes so that you don't leave any big bubbles. And then you keep going, go one more time, all the way out the other side, past the other edge. And that is it. Now you want to grab a dry towel. And just wipe. And you want to wipe it in the direction you were squeegeeing. So you don't want to wipe up against an edge where you might peel the edge up. So start in center and kind of work your way out to the edges. Same on here. finger that's lifting right there so you can take some alcohol and just lay that down and again you can use dry towel to kind of almost act like your squeegee temperature will make a difference as well if it's uh, 60 degrees you really don't want to install when it's uh, colder than 60 um, Stuff will just want to slide around. Uh, when it gets really hot, things will want to tack. So if you're over 100, uh, 105, 110 degrees in the shade, uh, the stuff will want to tack a lot. So you really need to use a lot of uh, spray. But ideally, anywhere in the kind of 75 to 85, that's perfect. Uh, I think today it's probably 90, so it's kind of warm today. But um, uh, again, the stuff, uh, at this point, you just let it dry, let it cure for a couple days. Um, you can ride it still. Just don't, if you see any liquid spots underneath, don't poke at them. Uh, they will dissipate out. Um, if you have any places where they're lifting, use a dry towel. And like I say, set it out in the sun for a little bit and it will uh, dry up and uh, all those edges will dry and nothing will, nothing will lift anymore. So, good to go. Your fork legs are protected.